Hey, this is Dow Too Fast here, and in this video I will be replacing the air hose that's on this hose reel. I've had this hose reel for about five years now, and you can find these same ones sold at Harbor Freight or many of the uh, online stores. I actually bought this one off Amazon, and the reel itself is actually very good. The problem is that they put on these really crappy rubber hose that after a couple of years, they start cracking. And if you follow my channel, I did a brake install on my Honda Odyssey. And it was during that installation where when I had my impact wrench hooked up to this hose, heard a loud pop followed by a hissing sound. And I knew basically that there's a leak, air leak somewhere on the line. And if you look at the end of the hose right here, you'll see the hole where the air was leaking from. And also, if you bend the hose, you can see all kinds of cracks developing. So I have a couple options. I can cut off this connector and then put on a new connector and that'll cost about three to four dollars. Very inexpensive. But because the hose itself is just not good quality, I've decided to replace it with a better hose. So that's what I'll do in this video. I'll be replacing it with this snap-on hybrid air hose and I was at Northern Tool Store the other day and I saw this on sale for 20 bucks which is a pretty good deal and this uh, hose is 50 feet long the inner diameter is 3 8 inch it's good up to 300 psi and they claim that it's 50 percent uh, more flexibility 50 percent lighter weight and is rated for temperature of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit all the way to uh, high as 150 degrees Fahrenheit. It comes with a four-year warranty. So it sounded pretty good. And also, of course, you can see the middle has uh, some fittings that they threw in. So I'm going to put this onto my hose reel. So let me first unwind it, put the hose off the reel. There's an 8 millimeter nut here that's holding the clamp that's clamping onto the hose. I'm not sure if you can see this, but this area is already cracking. There's a big crack here and all along here. So let's go ahead and remove this 8 millimeter nut. Now this spring is basically to protect the hose from the edge of this hole here. Let's remove the clamp here. I think the easiest way to loosen this is going to be just to remove this hose all the way from here so that I can turn it. And so there's going to be slack on this side and then we'll be able to loosen the connector. So go ahead and get your wrench. And the hose is removed. So the first thing is I'm putting that spring back on and all you have to do is coil this in a clockwise direction. Uh, it is a little smaller in diameter but you can get it to get on it so just keep on doing this. So now I've fed the new hose through this hole with that spring here. And I'm just going to pull a good probably 10 feet of this. So there will be plenty of length for me to put that connector on. Make sure you put several layers of Teflon tape on this so you have a good seal so 
So go ahead and put this on the connector and tighten this. Before you start coiling this up, I recommend that you go ahead and put some air into this and test that connection, make sure there's no leak in it. And once you confirm it's good, then we'll go ahead and start coiling this up. So I've pulled that slack back over the reel. And then now I'll put the clamp back on. So right now we can start pulling back in. So the last thing you need to do is install the stopper back on the hose. And that's it. So that is how you can replace the air hose on this reel. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.